Hey everybody, Brendan here. Welcome back to another video. Today, we are finally continuing the London System speedrun. It's been a very, very long while, but I am glad to be back. So, a uh, funny thing here is that after we play bishop to f4 against a move uh, like knight to f3, uh, or knight to f6, my apologies, it could be a little bit more difficult to play something like c5. Um, I'm wondering if I can get anything in that could be useful against this move. Um, because if I play knight f3, then they just play c5 and everything is kind of hunky-dory. So, I'm thinking c3. Because now all of a sudden c5, we can take it and we might actually be able to hold on to the pawn. That seems like a reasonable idea. Bishop to f5 was played. Um, that could run into some trouble after queen to b3. Maybe I'm wrong. Uh, but the thing is, bishop to f5 and bishop to f4 both have the problem where uh, the b pawns are no longer defended. This is usually how you take advantage of the London system when you're playing as black. That's why c5 is the critical move. But that is not what my opponent ended up doing. So they played b6, something I'm actually pretty happy to see. Uh, I'll play knight to d2. Just focusing on normal development. I'll play e3 next. And uh, now we've created some light square weaknesses. I would love to see a move like e6 get played before I continue on too much. Um, good. And the reason why I want to see this is because now I'm looking at moves like queen a4 check. To see if this can cause any problems for my opponent. I'm, I'm kind of doubting it will. Instead, I'll just play either bishop g3 or I'll take. I think bishop g3 should be fine. And with knight to d2, there's no knight e4 uh, encouraging me to take. Because I would not like to lose the bishop here. And there we go. We finally have kind of a mistake here. Uh, and we can take advantage of it with bishop to b5. This is one of the big problems with creating a structure like this. You generally will kind of have the problem where... You know, developing is not really as easy as it used to be. Now, queen to a4 to continually attack on the pin. They can castle, but then we can take on c6. If they move their knight, of course, we win their queen. So that's not really anything to worry about. Yeah, they ended up castling. So we'll take the bishop, uh, take the knight with the bishop and win the game. So, yeah, that wasn't really um, too long of a game, but it was actually really important. And... Let's uh, go into the analysis board and just see a little bit more of why. All right. So, again, whenever you're playing the London system, one of the big things that you're kind of hoping for is moves like B6. I generally find that this is a very bad way to play against the London, um, mainly because, again, just weakening these specific squares, the light squares, uh, could have deadly consequences you can get away with this if you play for moves like c5 in the future, but it doesn't really seem like they're getting that opportunity. Uh, and yeah, knight c6 just actually ends up losing uh, by force after bishop to b5 because there's nothing to be done about this pin. However, if they played something like knight bd7 or if they castled first, I think that they actually might have been fine. But um, strategically speaking, this, this could be a very dangerous thing for them, and it's definitely something to watch out for in your own games. I think that's going to be it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed, and, well, thanks for watching. Bye-bye.